All right, cool. So we'll just talk to you a little bit about probation and parole and basically what happens. Um, as a uni student, I had no idea what probation and parole actually was. And I think as a community, we're not really out there just yet. But probation and parole play a huge part in basically managing those that are subject to community-based orders, such as probation and parole. There can be different types of orders, like interstate orders and board order parole orders, all that sort of stuff you'll learn when you join us. But basically, we supervise offenders that are subject to those orders in the community. Uh, our main focus is on engaging those people in rehabilitation services, um, so things like residential rehabs, counselling programs, things like that. Basically, as an officer, you will assess those needs. They'll come to you. You'll figure out why they offended. So exactly why they're here, their journey, they're all about their life. You'll unpack all that stuff and figure out why they are, who they are. And then basically from there, it's our job to engage them in programs to fix that and to reduce their risk of reoffending and further contact with the justice system. So that's essentially what we do. We hold community safety paramount. Obviously, um, with certain orders, we have the powers to issue warrants and things like that if things are getting too out of hand. And we make that decision whether basically we should keep someone in the community or not. So that's what probation problem does. Quickly summarise. So basically, as, as officers, it's our job to, um, to conduct assessments, interview offenders one-on-one, -on -one, even conduct programs. Uh, we do drug and breath testing as well in the community. We conduct home visits, so you actually go out and assess homes of people that are uh, potentially about to be paroled to addresses. So it's your job to go out there, assess that, the suitability of that address and make those reports and assist the parole board and courts any way we can. Um, Basically, the benefits of studying at Griffith University, I've found it really hones in your networking skills and who you talk to. Um, returning here tonight, I noticed that I actually have friends that are working in various different departments who I communicate with on a daily basis. So the networking side of Griffith University being a tight-knit criminology community is really good. Um, and that'll definitely help you with engaging with stakeholders in the community. Um, I think, um, so the two main purposes that I see um, the role of probation um, and parole officers, we have to do the making sure or encouraging offenders to apply with what the court expects of them. But the bit that really excites me is that we have such an opportunity to impact on good outcomes for offenders in the community and their families and that when we meet offenders and we spend a lot of time with them we have the opportunity to do some real serious work around relapse prevention um, and not only outsourcing to community agencies to help them make better choices and do things differently as we can do a lot of that work ourselves which is really rewarding when we have someone finish their order and they've completed it without reoffending, without hurting somebody, and then we don't see them back in through the door. So yeah, it's pretty rewarding um, in that respect. It's one of my favourite things about it. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely through the course, I think we'll, you, through criminology, you'll learn about the revolving door syndrome, but there is that issue of high incarceration rates and people that are returning to, to, to prisons. So I think that is one of the rewarding things where we get to break that cycle of offending. And basically you, make, you create positive change in the community by changing someone's life, so it is pretty rewarding. I think the exciting thing about being a probation and parole officer is that um, you're constantly learning. I've been with the agency for six and a half years and I still learn things and I apply those every day. Um, each day is different, um, there'll be always a scenario that you haven't come across before and you'll get to try out um, new skills along the way, so it's, it's kind of always evolving. Um, we're always looking at making the probation and parole model the best service it can be. And as Dean mentioned, obviously we do have a priority for keeping the community safe, but it's that behaviour change that's really rewarding. Uh, and I guess also challenging and one of the main focuses of what we do on a daily basis. So basically I thought I'd just include this slide to give you a little bit about my own background studying through Griffith. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys are here now to find out a little bit about what careers are available and as was mentioned before, criminology degree unlocks an absolute ton of doors. You have, ver you have various opportunities. Um, myself, I studied here, I was in the first graduating class of criminology on the Gold Coast, so we're quite a small class. 
Um, I was really undecided on my own career path as well. I attended events like these and really tried to home in. I was tossing up between federal police, police, all these different options that I had. And then one day I was working at Cafe Rossa here on the Gold Coast and I thought I'm not really applying any of, <laughs> any of my three year degree to hospitality. So one day I got an email uh, in regards to probation and parole opportunities here and that was when I decided to go for an interview, learnt a little bit more about probation and parole and um, straight immediately fell in love with it and I've been there for three years. Um, with the agency as well, it's not just doing those things that we said. Within the agency we have so many different roles and everything. It unlocks even more doors, so things like programs. Uh, we can do programs where you're running programs changing treating sex offenders in the community, uh, domestic violence as well. Um, there's various different roles. There's court advisory officers. If, you, if you're into your suits and your law, you get to go to court and prosecute in court, which is pretty cool. You get to go to magistrates courts and um, represent the agency and, and prosecute in court, which I found pretty interesting. Um, also as well, there's the opportunities to work away. You don't, you're not just constrained to one region. I myself, I got to go to Mount Isa. Uh, and Mornington Island. If you don't know where Mornington Island is, I suggest that you Google it. It's a very small island with a population of about 800 people who are all Indigenous and basically living on that island for some time was quite interesting and the life experience that you get from being able to work in rural areas and everything like that is something that I highly recommend. So come and talk to us outside um, and we can definitely tell you more about it. Oh, basically, um, these are the sort of things that we're looking for in the agency. These are the things that um, your, your degree will definitely um, you know, help you achieve. And so if you are thinking of applying with us and through our manpower recruitment team who are here, you can talk to them outside. These are the skills and qualities that we're looking for. So if you think you tick those boxes, please do apply. And if you don't know, if you still don't you have any questions about what we do or if there's a particular interest that you have and you're not sure if it'll fit, come and chat to us because we do, there are so many opportunities uh, within corrective services, not just as a probation and parole officer specifically. So if there's an interest that you have, I have no doubt there's probably something somewhere within the agency that you'd love. So definitely come and have a chat to us. Cool. Cool.